What is going on next community? Exosomp here and today since we're in tag team mode we're actually with Galaxy Ball. Hello everyone. And we're going to be going over our EDL um, monotype game for week five and that's against the dragon team. Uh, so let's just get into our team. Uh, we do have a an HP invested and special defense Togekiss, uh, max HP and max special defense. Um, Dazzling Gleam and Aura Sphere. I think the Aura Sphere was for... Oh man, I actually forgot what it was for necessarily. Uh, let me bring up their whole team so that I can get a good look. Um, I believe uh, the Aura Sphere was mostly for... Um, I think it was for Guz... No, that wouldn't make sense, because Barry <laughs> would just be Guzzle. Um... Oh, what was it for? It was for one of them. One of them's weak to fighting. You know what? Oh, they're out on. Alright, they're out on. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, if they're running a special defensive Duraludon, it would be good to have. Uh, Defog for, of course, removal, and then Wish, uh, in case we need to wish something up. And then leftovers. With Super Luck, uh, we're running Super Luck because Serene Grace wouldn't make sense with Dazzling Gleam and Auras here. So, Super Luck, maybe we'll get lucky. Extra crits. Always yeah. crits. Uh, do you want to go over the Dragonite? Uh, yeah, Dragonite's uh, pretty standard for if you know you're going to be facing off against a lot of dragons. Um, it's got Dragon Dance to set up with uh, max uh, attack, and I think we speed crept so that we were faster than... Um, I think everything except for, like, the Latias, right? Uh, we were, we have speed everything at plus one, uh, Bolt. with even Dragon Bolt. Yeah, okay. So unless they have, like, a Scarf or something, we pretty much outspeed once we get one Dragon Dance up. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, if we do get one Dragon Dance up, we can pretty much kill everything without Rage or Ice Punch. So, that was the plan, really. Just, once we... If we have time to set up, we could Dragon Dance, uh, tank with multi-scale, and then just kill everything. Unless they have a Scarf or something. So, Dragon Knight's kind of our late game sweeper once we make sure that nothing can outspeed it. Yeah. And uh, I think Earthquake was there just in case they bring, um... Uh... It was, was it Duraludon? Probably Duraludon. Uh, Duraludon, yes. Um, and also... For Drake's ult and Turtonator, if we don't want to be locked into Outrage right away. Yes. All right. Lando is next. Uh, the Lando is with a Scarf that speeds here. That speeds everything, uh, unless they're a Scarf. Earthquake for, of course, the Turt, uh, Drake's ult, and Duraludon. Outrage really to hit everything else. U turn for momentum and then Defog. We ran Defog because there really wasn't el much else to run on Lando and. Removal's always nice. Um, with, of course, we're running max attack, and then uh, the rest was just went into HP. Yeah, Pretty unfortunately, standard. Landorus uh, with the scarf. I don't think. I think it's like just barely can't outspeed uh, Dragapult uh, with max speed unless it's Jolly Nature, right? Is that correct? Uh, no. Uh, with the scarf, it outspeeds. No, I, I mean, oh. like... Um, oh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. You're right, you're right. So, yeah, I had to be a jolly. Yeah, so... Little lack of damage, but still, it's it's Landorus, you know. Yeah, not a big deal. <laughs> then, we had the Sigilyph. Uh, so, this Sigilyph is interesting. Um, Galaxy, I'm not sure if I... you knew this set. No, I had no idea what this is. I just wanted to run this thing Scarf and just kill something because I felt like our problem with Sigilith is, has always been, like whenever we try to bring it, that it's too slow to do anything. Like, right. we don't have a good time to bring it in. If we bring it in unsafe, it just dies. If we bring it in safe, it gets outsped. So we need to get it fast. So I wanted to run some kind of choice scarf, just murder something set. But then you proposed this and I was like, okay, I guess it, maybe it'll work, we'll see. Until we forgot about Drake's ult, but <laughs> yeah. um, that aside, uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's usually run, um, what's that cosmic other power? power? Yeah, cosmic power instead of calm mind, but that's really stally. So we want to do calm mind over it because it does 
uh, hit a lot of things. We also have uh, sword power, of course, to do a lot more damage. We have Psycho Shift um, to give stuff that like their physical attackers, like let's say Dracozult or um, even Dragapult, for instance, or Zygarde, uh, burn. And then we can restall. But yeah, this was not supposed to be stall. It did look like stall at first, but it's we want to try a bulkier Sigilyph because it always came in and, and didn't really outspeed anything and sort of just died. So yeah. And uh, Sigilyph's defenses really aren't that bad, so it could be run pretty pretty bulky. Does Psycho Shift can Psycho Shift burn a fire type like hurt neither? No. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Because uh, it still works like a like a regular burn. Okay. And uh, so this is gonna be the most interesting part, and we yeah, like let's just go over it real quick. So, uh, we're, you know what? All right, we got Articuno here. This Articuno was really fun to conjure up. Um, I see Rock Articuno sets up the hail. Uh, with I didn't realize you put Icy Rock on the Articuno <laughs> until the game started. I thought we were still going to have Heavy Duty Boots no. and slightly commit to the hail strategy. What are you, crazy? How would we do that? Okay, but you wanted to put a Roar Veil on this thing, so don't even... <laughs> yeah, man! Got more hail! Uh, anyways. <laughs> so, Icy Rock, we have hail with Snow Cloak. Freeze Dry hits everything. Uh, of course, uh, Kingdra four times. And then U-turn for momentum and roost. Uh, regular set, except for the moves, at least. At least hail. Uh, H max HP, max bedef. But the best part is, why are we putting up hail? Just for snow cloak? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, of course it doesn't. So let's go on. Drift Bloom, okay? Alright, so Drift Bloom with Weather Ball. Weakness policy, okay? So like, let's say something comes in and, and rock slides or thunderbolts or something. We live a hit, because we're like max HP. So... We live a hit. Yeah. We live a hit. We get weakness policy at plus two. So we get plus two, plus two. Then on burden, we outspeed everything. Because uh, it doubles our speed. Which I believe outspeeds everything. Yep. Uh, more, yeah, more or less. And outspeed everything without a scarf. Right. And then, we have Weather Ball, of course, which will be ice. Which will hit the Dragon Team super effectively. Um, and at plus two, it basically kills everything. To an extent, uh, we had Shadow Ball and then HP Dragon to counter the things that we couldn't kill with Weather Ball, and then Strength Set, of course, like for King sure. Yeah, King Kingdra was one of the things. Man, if only Driftlum had Freeze Dry. If they brought Kingdra, the strategy could have worked because Articuno and Driftlum were teched specifically against Kingdra mostly, I feel like, um, especially with the Freeze Dry. Uh, mm -hmm. Because we saw the Kingdra doing a lot of work in the other games, so we were a little bit wary of it. But uh, they didn't bring Kingdra, so... Yeah, and, uh... the thing is, um, yeah, we, we did prep for it, but I, I don't know. I feel like they could have brought it, and Ice Beam could have been good. But then again, it is the, uh, the Dragon Team, and uh, you know, Rabbit likes to fool around with uh, random sets, as you guys will see. But yeah, I guess it's I just... Think, I think this would have been really cool if we got to pull it off. But, uh... Oh yeah, dude. <sighs> you guys will see what happens if <laughs> I've, I've, been, I've been saying I want to run a weakness policy on something. Because it's just, it's such a cool item. I love the item. I love the concept of it. Same. It's so cool. <laughs> but let's get on to the match here. <laughs> so, uh, we start off with Lando as it's our pivot. And they start off with Latias. Um, so of course we're gonna be faster, so we just U-turn out. Uh, it does 40%, which is good, I think. Yeah, that means... takes so much damage from U-turn, which is really nice for us, because it means we could kind of chip this thing down without having to be threatened by it. Right. Yeah, so we go into Tokikiss. Uh, we sort of expected the Ice Beam, but we didn't want to risk anything else, like the Articuno, just in case it goes for T-Bolt and, like, maybe predicts us or something, or, I don't know. So, we knew that Tokikiss could take a hit, because it's max bedef as well. So we're able to uh, hit him back. As it goes into Turt, uh, we just switch into Articuno, predicting a switch. I don't remember yeah, what I, we predicted, though. I think we were expecting them to go into, like... I can't remember what it was, but I know Turtinator was, like, the, the worst option. 
I think we were thinking they were going to like drag a pulse or something and try and get a kill. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, but nonetheless, uh, we just do turn out on the Turtonator and go back into Lando. As we see, it's Stone Edge, right? Now, I said this during the game. It does learn Stone Edge. It does learn ground moves. So I, we were we were wary of that. So we switched into Lando on whatever he wanted to do. And I think even... I think uh, if the Stone Edge hit, I think with the Intimidate, it wouldn't have killed Landorus. Wouldn't have killed. It wouldn't have... It would have done like... 20%. Okay, yeah, it's a stone edge. It does a lot of It's a stone edge. Okay, if it crit, maybe it would have been decent. But still, uh, we just U turn out again, predicting him not to stay in, but he does and goes for stone edge again. So that was a good play. But a sigilith is defensive, so it can take a hit very well. Uh, we, they do see the burn, so they think we're the stally set. They go into Drake's ult right away. We could have just tried to burn right away, but we didn't really expect them to go straight into Drake's ult. Uh, so here... Yeah. yeah. Here, yeah, we that do was take... Probably the, the better idea was to, is to burn. Maybe we could get one or two extra turns out of it. Yeah. Uh, we didn't expect Rock Slide. We were actually expecting, a, you know, an electric move. But they go for Rock Slide. It doesn't kill us. And uh, they do land two rock slides in a row, which is crazy with hustle, but uh, impressive, impressive. Then we go to Lando, of course, threatening Drake is all out, but they haven't been switching too often, so we just pressed the outrage and claimed the uh, claimed kill here. I'm I'm assuming they thought like they were thinking, what's the best thing to sack? Because something's gonna die to Landorus, so they just decided well, to sack. But the thing is. They have a Latias with Earthquake, so if they were expecting Earthquake, they could have went into it. True. Or it's very true. left it, yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah, so they just try to stall our Outrage out here, as uh, we do get confused now. And we decide to save Lando, go into Tokikus, as they are Toxic Protect. Now, before this, they, they said, oh my god, you guys are actually bringing stall when we brought Sigilith. But then they bring a Toxic Stall. <laughs> Guzzlord. <laughs> Which we thought was pretty funny. Uh, Good thing we have Dazzling Gleam to just shred this thing. But it doesn't even kill! Dude, Guzzlord's amazing. <laughs> it, it does bring them low enough where their substitute is wasted, and we probably should have just spammed Dazzling Gleam, to be honest. Yeah. But uh, we wanted to keep Tokikus alive. Yeah, so we wished here as they subbed, and uh, we're able to press Dazzling Gleam again here, I believe. Because uh, even if they protect, we get our health back, which is good. Yeah, we're losing a lot of health to Toxic, and I think... I think we could have actually kept Togekiss alive if we weren't concerned about letting it stay alive, which is pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Like if we just click Dazzling Gleam um, instead of going for the Wish, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have to worry about uh, the Landers getting Toxic and all this stuff. But, uh, yeah, but we just... Send out Lando again and just press Outrage, so it's fine. Yeah, that's fair. If they go for double protect, they don't get it. Of course, Outrage does kill. Uh, they go into Zygarde here. Of course, it's gonna tank one, but um, does bring them decently low. And uh, Thousand Arrows plus the Toxic, I believe, kills us. Yeah, or, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. yeah well, that's, that's what I was saying. I feel like we could have saved Landorus if we went with the just kill it play and not go on for the wish but eh. it's fine it's not a big deal because we just send out now dragonite um dagger can't kill us at this point yeah, so time. at this point at this point we were we were thinking if their dragapult was was choice scarf they would have sent it out by now to threaten the landorus at, like when things died mm -hmm. you know they would have if it was faster they would have sent it out so now we can confidently say they don't have a choice scarfer Right. So let's let's set up. Yeah, uh, they bring dragon dance as well, which is a little funny. But we still have our multi skill intact, which means we cannot die from one hit unless they get a crit. Uh, the outrage doesn't kill, and Just we are barely. able to ice punch. Yeah, they needed. I think they needed a crit because there is no way that they would be able to kill us. I'm pretty sure. That's a scary amount of damage, even with multi skill. I gotta say. Yeah, that's. I yeah. saw the health bar go down that fast. I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is a lot of damage, but still, uh, we do tank it, which is great. Turtonator doesn't 
take an Earthquake, which is good. It was level 99. Don't ask why. I really don't know why. Games. Games. Yeah. But uh, yeah, at this point, we're faster than everything, and we have tech for every mon, so everything dies. Yeah. And then we just outrage to finish them off. So, yeah, uh, good games. Gumi, or, yeah, Gumi. Does Dragapult learn Shadow Sneak? No. Okay. If it did, I would have said, should have brought priority. It has Sucker. It does have Sucker. Oh, well, should have brought priority, I guess. Should have brought priority. You could have killed... So but then, you know, we had we couldn't even use the Articuno Drift Bloom in the back. It's a shame. It we is. didn't even send them in once, did, they? did we? Uh, we had Articuno out. I oh, think. yeah, we U-turned it for yeah. a second. Yeah, damn it. Dude, if we got that off, I would have been so happy. Oh, my God. But still, didn't we had the use... idea. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, so pretty, pretty fast game. Yeah, pretty fast. Um, it was a 4-0 to us. Uh, they're just sort of having fun with it, which that is awesome. Uh, I do like the meme sets, and uh, sometimes we it really works. We brought a meme set, sort of. We just didn't get the chance to use it. Yeah. Yeah. I want to bring the, the weak armor Skarmory set, but... It's gonna happen. Playoffs. It's gonna happen. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Well, speaking of, next week we are up against the Psychic team. So that'll be pretty fun. Oh, um, yeah. I'm expecting a certain strategy to come up. But uh, we'll save it for the next video, I guess. Of course, of course. Uh, yeah, but with that, I guess that was our week five game. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, of course, leave a like. And uh, yeah, have a good day. Peace.